Hello guys, in this video we'll learn more about file storage in Laravel. So let's start. Here I will perform all of these operations in my endpoint. But before that, let's take a look at file systems config. Here this file systems inside config folder, right? As you can see here, we have something called disks, which means where will we store our files? So local here, it means we will store it in our local server or our own server. And the public also uses local, but this public means all of our uploaded file will be public. But here by default, it's private and not available for everyone, right? So if you want to make all of your files public, you can use public directly, right? And here our default file system is local as you can see here you can change it to public or any value that's here inside our config file also you can find it here in our dot env file right and here for key file system driver or file system disk is one is local you can change it to public if you want we will keep it local and if we back here to our code i will set it again to local Right, and here's S3, it related to Amazon. We will talk about it later. Also, you have here symbolic links. We will talk about it later in this video also. So now here in our controller, let's create a new folder. But if you notice here inside our disk, local disk, the root storage folder is app. So which app, as you can see, storage app path. So let's run our method. I will start my server first and i will run php artisan tinker to see what the value or what this storage path method returns so here storage path and let's see here's our full server or full path and inside our project it represents the storage file here our project and here inside our storage folder sorry this one and the storage path here is this folder is app folder right so if we back again here and we pass this value app it returns storage slash app if you found or pass anything here it returns storage slash app right so let's start here and i am using the local disk as a default this one and let's create a new folder to create a new folder or directory we can make it easy using storage facade or class here and say make directory for example laravel boy right now let's check it returns true right return here it will return one back to our endpoint and let's test it here send a request and back to our storage folder here this one app inside app it's created a laravel boy folder right now let's start uploading file or storing file into this folder so we can do it easily using here storage right storage this one put file we can upload file using put file method and i will say using laravel boy folder store this file we will define it soon and here i am uploading a file using avatar and i set it to file if you want to upload file using postman and i will select an image image one this image right and here i will define my variable file equal to request file here and avatar because our name here is avatar as you can see here right so let's back and test it here to our endpoint as you can see our laravel folder is empty and when we try to upload a file it's here return it must be returned something here return because put file return string or false if it failed so i think it must return the path of that folder we sent a request already and as you can see here it saved the file here our file and renamed it also as you can see here if you want to rename this file 
you can use this method put file as and as you can see it takes three parameter the bus you want to save your file or directory the file can be file class or upload file request like this one as you can see it returns upload file class and the third parameter is the name you want so i want to name it here let's create a variable called name here name equal to for example ahmed and dot file extension this one file extension right and don't forget to add dot here also it will be ahmed.png or the extension we have and here is the new name i want right and as you can see here we have something called options we can set the visibility of file public or private by default as we know it's private but we can use public maybe and we can use also instead of that public disk so i will not set it to public back again and you try to create the same image send and it returns the path of my images inside laravel boy folder slash ahmed.png it's back and control here our new file ahmed.png what if we retry to create another image or file with the same name let's check now send and as you can see it's overwritten so you must create unique names you can actually use it using hash name as we explained in the previous lesson using here generated name right equal to file hash name method this one and if we die and dump it generated name it will be generated by laravel send request and here is our generated name dot png and you can save it directly to our database right what if we want to copy a file to another directory so for example here i want to copy this ahmed.png to public directory it's easy we can use here storage and copy from ahmed or sorry laravel boy slash ahmed.png this file to public slash ahmed.png don't forget our root storage folder is this one here is our app as it's mentioned here right so back again and now it returns success back and see inside public as you can see it's copied also and it's kept here right from laravel boy i create another copy ahmed.bg inside public folder let's completely move a file from here from laravel boy this file i will cut it from here to public right we can make it easily also using storage move and it's the same parameter let's copy it and the same thing it will be overridden if it's already exist so back again send a request it returns success and back to our storage folder inside laravel boy it's deleted or cutted to public folder as you can see here ahmed.png right the next one here is listing a file inside directory or listing all files inside directory the first thing here we can let's take it a name here and we can say storage and files inside public folder so list me all files inside public folder if, if we die and dump here by the way this public folder which is exists inside storage folder app public this one so it must return ahmed.png and let's die and dump send the request it returns dot get ignore as you can see because we have dot get ignore file and our folder here public slash ahmed.png what if here this public has another subdirectory like that for example i will create this one here and sub there and i will copy it here to sub there with another name test for example right back here and refresh 
it returns only the files inside main path but if you want to inside all files inside subdirectories also you can use all files method so it will display files inside public and also files inside directory inside public back and see and here's our public slash sub there slash test.png right so here if you want to show a file or getting the content of file you can use method here let's return this one storage and get we want to get the content of test.png or ahmed.png so public slash ahmed.png and i want to return the content of that if you notice here it returns the string so if we test it here it returns this image right right so we we can use this file content right to create another content so for example i want to create a new image so we can do it easily using storage and using put method so inside our laravel slash boy and slash i want to create a new file using test2.png and create it using this file content a copy using the string of the content here so we can use file and let's try to test it here return i think it returns boolean yeah try send request it's already succeeded back to our laravel boy here and it created the same string as you can see here from this file content so here is another way for example to create a copy using put instead of copy right if you want to download file using storage we can do it using storage but we must return right so here is storage storage download method and let's specify our image or our file not only image by the way and here we can say this one and we can also select the name while downloading and specify headers right because it's a type of response so we can do it easily like that if i try to download it using postman from here select send and download now here is our test2.png as you can see here is downloaded to my desktop or download folder right now it's time to delete some files we can here do like that storage delete right so here i want to delete this image or this file here and return to return success or not it returns boolean also i think yeah as we can see here send it for the first time it returns success one and if we try to delete it and it deletes the file if exists and if not exist it didn't throw any error so instead of that we can first check if file exists or not so if here storage using exists method to check if a file exists or not here this test to png because i removed it already if this file exists then delete it right if not we can say return no file back and send again we have no file because we already deleted it if you want to delete a folder we can use this method storage delete directory this one and we can specify our directory so i want to remove this laravel boy folder and it will be removed with with its content so if i back here to my folder laravel boy it has an image and if i run it this one return run here it works run again it works also because it doesn't exist anyway it will success right here's our laravel boy folder has been deleted so to show a file or to make a file public we can use this public folder or even you can make your own custom folder so let's first clean it here quickly so i want to upload a file to our public folder and display it but let me show you something here so we can store file directly 
using store method right or store publicly it will store directly inside public and store public as you can rename it and let's change it to store here and save I want to store it inside public folder and return here this one uploaded equal to this one here Diane dump this one storage URL to get the URL of a specific folder or file inside public here slash the name this one let's define our name here name equal to file hash name which will be generated by Laravel and let's check send our avatar again and here is our folder storage slash png but if we use this URL here right let's duplicate this endpoint HTTP and if we copy this storage it returns nothing it is 404 because it's public but fake public so we must create a simple link here if you noticed here this one creates a link to make file or folder public to show so we can make it easily using this command as mentioned here storage link so artisan which artisan storage link right and here in our public folder this one here we have now storage folder right with these files so let's try again now it returns the image because it's now saved as publicly if you want to create your own custom links here we can do something like that so let's duplicate it and we can say for example create avatar inside public folder right or avatars for app public or app avatars folder inside storage right but we must have this avatars folder before rerun this command right so first if you want we must unlink this storage folder from public folder right so let's remove it and let's create another folder called avatars here avatars inside our storage folder and inside app also and create it avatars right and if we run it again storage link now it created two symbol link storage and avatars let's upload some files to avatars instead of public right so here store as and store it inside avatars or just use store and here is also our avatars now let's back and send it again upload file now it's uploaded let's try to show it publicly here and it's not exist why because we must return the asset of that image asset URL so we can do it easily using asset here right let's take it and use this one return this let's remove this line also let's disable it and here is the folder of avatar that I uploaded so copy paste and here is the result so you can also create your own custom symbol link right here is some general explanation about storage file in Laravel support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos